Hey there. Uh, this is going to be a quick video on how to maybe get better recordings using a Logitech C930E than you are currently getting today. Um, I, I've had a couple of people share videos with me recently that they were working on, and I noticed that the quality wasn't what I expected out of this camera, considering it's a 1080p, I mean, a little, little, really low resolution. So that got me looking at what was going on. And I basically, I've got the same webcam and I never noticed this either because I always use it in like Skype and it's got the drivers for it. But what happened is Logitech built this as a business camera and didn't build any real software to utilize the full 1080p uh, quality of the camera. They assumed the business applications would have the drivers built into them to utilize the camera to its full extent. So for the consumer people, they're kind of shortchanged a little bit. And what I mean by that is the video quality. So if you go into the Logitech webcam software, it's gonna default, you got these standard and widescreen options and it's gonna default over here to the 320 by 240. And we've got 480, 640 by 480 and 800 by 600 for our recorded options. And if we go over to widescreen, which will take it a second, we're gonna have several options over there too for our recording settings. We've got the 320 by 180 there. We got 360p and 720p. So 720 is the best you can get. What does that mean? Now, let's come over here and look at the files for a second. I just made a couple, a short example video. And file size and the dimensions are gonna be the big thing here, right? That's what the, res the 320 by 240 means. So if you look down here on the bottom right, we've got the 320 by 240 the 640 by 480, 800 by 600. Those are the standard ones. If we jump into the widescreen, we've got the 320 by 180, the 640, 360, and the 12, 1280 by 720, so the 720p. That's the best we're gonna get. So the file sizes are bigger and the resolution's different, right? And what's that mean when I'm watching it? Well, here's those sample videos in VLC. There's the 320p, or 320, sorry, standard. There's the standard 640. There's the standard 800. Not bad, but not great. There's the widescreen 320, the widescreen 360, and the widescreen 720p. So obviously 720p is the best we're gonna get out of this camera using the Logitech software, but it does 1080p, I wanna get a 1080p video. I wanna get the best quality I can. So how do you do that? Well, you can't with the Logitech software. So what we gotta do is go over and use, in this case, since I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna use QuickTime to do my recording. So go ahead and launch QuickTime, come over to File, New Movie Recording, and over here, we can do high quality and maximum quality. So what does that mean? Well, let's go back over to our files. Now here's my QuickTime example. There's the high quality, that's 1280 by 720. And if we do maximum, that's 1920 by 1280. Those are great, that's HD quality video right there, the 1080p stuff. Now what does that mean when we look at it? Here's the high example. So just using the QuickTime high settings. And here's the QuickTime maximum settings. And now I'm using VL, this, it's actually much bigger. I'm just using VLC and saying, take the full screen here so that we can see it. But it actually is much larger than this. So if you wanna get the best quality of recordings you can, you're gonna to wanna to use QuickTime if you can. And then obviously the best one's gonna be this maximum quality that I was, we were just looking at there. But just a small tip for you that if you change it down to the maximum quality, well, this is gonna be the best video you can get, so I would do it if I can. This eats up a ton of disk space. I would look at 12 seconds and it's almost 300 meg. I was playing around earlier and had about a one gigabyte, uh, like a one minute video or so, and it was well over a gig already. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you get some disk space, which probably you do. So go for the best quality you can get, which would be the, the maximum, 
if you got the disk space. And if you don't, and you can't deal with the big file sizes, I would drop it down to the high setting. That's still going to be pretty darn good and get you a great video. But I would go for maximum if you can. And that's it for this little walkthrough. Hopefully this helped you out, and I'll talk to you later.